Today, I'm going to review the Rode VideoMic Me for iOS devices. When you record video with your iPhone or iPad, you want the audio to be stellar. This little device can help dramatically. So we're going to dive in and talk all things Rode VideoMic Me. Let's get started right now. Hey folks, good to have you with me. I'm Todd.Live and I teach a lot about podcasting, live video, social media video, tech and gear type stuff, and even Instagram. I've got two daily podcasts, Entrepreneur Live Video and Grammar School. One focuses on live video, one focuses on Instagram marketing. In the last two years, I've recorded about a thousand podcasts between my two daily shows, and I've gone live or recorded at least a thousand videos over the last couple years between YouTube, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, everywhere that I do go live or send recorded video, and I'm here to teach you everything I know. As I make YouTube part of my big game plan in 2019, you're going to see a lot of content come out. So if that's the kind of stuff that you want to learn about, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Knock the little bell so that you get notified whenever I drop a new video or go live. I'd really hate for you to miss out on anything if this is what you're interested in. So let's get right into the Rode VideoMic Me. The Rode VideoMic Me is a handy little shotgun microphone that fits right on to your iPhone. The microphone comes in a black aluminum casing. It's very well built. It weighs 28 grams and it's a directional microphone, meaning that it picks things up in the direction that it's pointing. This is a condenser microphone as opposed to a dynamic microphone. Condenser microphone Microphones are often used in sophisticated radio and studio type settings where getting the best sound is of paramount concern. And you'll see in this video that this microphone greatly increases the quality of the audio very quickly and easily. The microphone attaches directly to an iPhone or an iPad. There are no cords at all. It attaches with either a 3.55 millimeter jack or a lightning jack. So there are two models of this microphone. One is the Rode VideoMic Me. That's the one with the 3.55 millimeter jack. For newer iPhones and iPads, there's the Rode VideoMic Me L. That has a lightning jack instead of a 3.55 millimeter jack. The microphone has a 3.55 millimeter jack on the rear so that you can plug in a traditional set of Apple earplugs or any other earplugs that you like and monitor the sound. The Rode VideoMic Me also comes with a phone clamp and a nifty little windscreen that fits right on the end of the microphone. As far as accessories that come with the microphone, about the only thing that we're really missing is some sort of a case or a pouch or a cloth bag or something that all these pieces can be thrown into before you shove it into your pocket or your backpack. The first thing I wanted to do was find out how well this microphone performed in adverse conditions. To do this, I drove out to a remote spot where I knew I'd get some wind and some sound of cars going by. So I went out to the 241 toll road where Portola ends, knowing that I could get the job done there. To test the sound on this microphone, I did a couple things. First, I did a test with and without the windscreen on an iPhone X. And then I also did a test with the onboard iPhone microphone, which of course there's no windscreen that you can use. So here are the results. And I wanted to give you a test with the windscreen. It's kind of breezy up here, freeway traffic, kind of calmed down for a quick minute. Even the traffic behind me has calmed down for a quick minute, but now we've got the windscreen. This is using, of course, the Rode VideoMic Me. And now we're from the same location without the Rode VideoMic Me, just using the onboard speakers on this phone while we've got traffic going by, traffic on the freeway underneath, all that good stuff. It's kind of breezy, like I said. So that's the difference right there, folks. Without the windscreen, this microphone gets a lot of popping. It's not good sound. However, when you put the windscreen on it, all that popping and noise goes entirely away. And it sounds really close to studio quality sound, even though I'm standing on the side of a freeway in a windy environment. When you listen to the iPhone with just the onboard microphone and no microphone and no windscreen, the sound is subpar. It could stand to be a lot better. The picture quality from the iPhone is phenomenal. Why not have audio quality to match? So now that we know that the sound quality is really good coming from this microphone, let's talk about some of the features that I really like about this microphone. I like that this microphone is affordable. It's going to run you between $60 and $80 depending on the connection that you buy. 
The 3.55 millimeter connection is cheaper. You're going to find that around 60 bucks, and you can find that on Amazon. The lightning connector is going to be more expensive. I actually can't find the version with the lightning connector on Amazon, so I ordered mine from Sammy's camera. The nice thing about Sammy's camera is it was about as quick as Amazon. I had it within seconds of ordering it. I like that this microphone is lightweight. It weighs about the same as a cigarette lighter, and it's about the same size, which makes it compact. You could put it in your pocket. You can throw it in your backpack, whatever. It's tiny. It's light. It's easy to take with you wherever you go. I love that to use it, there are no wires. You simply plug it into the iPhone, and you're done. So now that we've talked about what I like about this microphone, let's talk about what I don't like about this microphone. The first thing I don't like about the Rode Video Mic Me is that I have to take the case off my phone in order to use it, okay? Anytime there's extra steps in creating content, that means that it adds up to where you create less content. The more steps you have, the less often you're going to create content. If creating content is super easy, you'll create content more often. If you have to jump through certain hoops in order to get started, uh, you find reasons to not do it. Well, pulling off an iPhone case is a major pain in the butt. These things are not easy to remove oftentimes. The other thing too is, is if I have my phone in a tripod and I'm walking around, my phone is exposed. If I drop the tripod or if my phone falls out of the tripod, I get a cracked screen. I don't want that simply to use a video microphone. The other thing I don't like about this microphone is it conflicts with one of my two favorite mini tripods. The two mini tripods that I like using for creating content are the Dro Joby Grip Type Pro Telepod and the Archon 11 inch mini tripod. These two go with me everywhere I go. They both serve different purposes. However, the microphone doesn't work well with the Joby. And here it is in action. You can see that there's a conflict. The microphone, when it's inside the Joby and secure, it has to sit at an angle with the back of the microphone up against the back of the Joby mini tripod. However, with the Archon 11 inch mini tripod, Archon has designed it so there's plenty of room for this microphone be hanging on the iPhone so that you can use it while using the mini tripod. So in the end, the pluses definitely overcome the minuses when using this microphone, at least for me. I can understand that if there's a potential conflict with your tripod, that's kind of unsavory, but there is a solution with the Archon. $35 and you've got the problem solved and you can use this microphone free and clear. I love that this microphone is inexpensive, compact, lightweight, has awesome sound, and can be used with absolutely no wires. Those are huge pluses, in my opinion, for this microphone, considering the great sound that we demonstrated that you get with this microphone. That was windy conditions on the top of that bridge with traffic going by, and it sounded fabulous. So what do you think? I'd love for you to leave a comment down below and tell me what you think of this microphone. Is this a buy or is this a pass and maybe choose a different option? Comment below and let me know what you think. So down below, I have affiliate links that take you straight to the product. So if this is something you want to add to your kit, or the mini tripods that you'd like to add to your kit. The links are down below to make it easy for you. And if you like what you see here in this video, if you've enjoyed it and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. That tells YouTube that this is a positive video and they make sure other people see it. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell if this kind of content is something that you're looking for in the future. I've made it easy for you to watch another video and to subscribe with the buttons on the side. And I've got a little surprise. I've got an ending here that has to do with my day out at the freeway recording with this microphone. For your enjoyment if not i'll see you in the next video take care folks have a great evening all right when i chose this location to film today i didn't realize that i would luck out in a couple different ways first off i found three pairs of shoes three pairs of shoes <laughs>
all right, well, maybe the looky-loos didn't work out too good. When I started to film them, they stopped paying attention. But when I was minding my own business and doing this video, they constantly slow down to stare. One of those things, maybe next time. Maybe I need to set up a phone or a camera and record the scene around me while I'm doing my thing. That way I've got some good B-roll and some good uh, blooper kind of footage. See you next time, folks.